architecture has been described as frozen music, infinity made imaginable, a way to know and remember who we are. The architect must be a prophet, said Frank Lloyd Wright, a prophet in the true sense of the term. If he can't see at least 10 years ahead, don't call him an architect. The National Association of State Chief Information Officers, also known as NASIO, shares this vision and has developed a framework for implementing enterprise architecture in our state. Architecture is the only art that arose from a basic human need. But architecture is more than the provision of shelter, and the architect is not limited to the tangible world. No domain for human use and protection is more essential, more powerful, more infinite in possibility than the world of information. A new future for America is coming. And Nasio is leading the way. Architects look to the past for tried and trusted methods and familiar, comfortable imagery. At the same time, they yearn for originality, respond to the challenge of ongoing change, and look to the future. On October 28, 1965, the construction of the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri was finished with the top stainless steel section welded in place 630 feet above ground. What began as a great vision was realized by a series of mathematical equations. Many years earlier in San Francisco, an engineer from Cincinnati, Ohio, dreamed of building a bridge over the Golden Gate Strait. Surrounded by doubt and considered a madman's vision, the Golden Gate Bridge was the most ambitious suspension bridge ever envisioned. Later, in the largest government project ever attempted, the Hoover Dam was conceived to tame the mighty Colorado River. It promised to turn the barren into the bountiful and provide flood control, irrigation, drinking water, and electricity. Consider the Empire State Building, a defiance of gravity and nature. Built in just one year and under budget, it is perhaps the best known symbol of business and urban life. It continues to meet the changing needs of its inhabitants. But even those who wish to soar have always had to keep in mind that their feet are planted firmly on the ground. From simple drawings to blueprints to construction, ideas have become reality because they have adhered to sound design and engineering principles. Those that did not failed or collapsed. Automobile factories rely heavily upon modules on the assembly line to be productive. Their success is founded in the architectural principle of component reusability. Standard railroad gauges, standard widths for interstate highway systems, and standard heights for overpasses are other everyday reminders of the necessity for good architecture and universal standards. Architecture is the foundation for technical infrastructure, too. Sound infrastructure is critical for the delivery of business solutions utilizing information technology. Architecture is as important in technology as it is in every other technical discipline. Architecture is more a reflection of individual creativity and ingenuity. It is, at its heart, a social act, for it is in its use and impact that the true worth and beauty of a structure becomes apparent. Does it invite? Will it endure? Can it evolve? Questions such as these are the driving force behind NASIO and its members. Digital government is embarking on an exciting new journey, and NASIO intends to lead the way. Maybe we can show government how to operate better as a result of better architecture, said Frank Lloyd Wright. In today's ever-changing world, these words take on new depth and meaning. Mr. Wright, the time has come. We can.
The future of government has begun, and the beginning is information architecture. Imagine the capability for instant information exchange, agency to agency, government to government, government to business, government to individual citizen. Imagine a justice system where decisions could be made and actions taken upon reliable and immediate information. Imagine judges having the ability to place a battered person or homeless person in a shelter with immediate access to social services organizations. So instead of just jailing the downtrodden or handing down a warrant for the batterer's arrest, the victim is aided to safety. Imagine being able to log on to your state's e-education offerings and enroll and take a course without regard to the specific institution offering the class. Though the development of information architecture and standards for sharing digital information is a new idea in government, the principles are familiar to us all. Think about what happens when you plug in an electrical appliance. The plug fits and the appliance works because across the United States, we share common electrical standards, fittings, and systems. Compare this to the inconvenience and the maze of converters required when there is no common standard. When we enter a public building or buy a house, do we worry that it will be unsound or unsafe? No. We rely upon building codes and standards to ensure that adequate materials and techniques are used. When we visit the ATM, do we concern ourselves with whether our transaction is secure? Do we always count the funds before placing them in our wallet? Or have we developed unlimited trust in the banking system? When we pick up a telephone to make a call, we count on having the ability to reach others no matter where they might be. What if every state or community had its own form of currency? What if every automobile required a different fuel? What if every traffic system used different signals and symbols? From the use of standards in house construction to the electronic data interface, common standards, shared modules, and consistent platforms underlie almost every facet of everyday life. We seldom think of this type of architecture, and therein lies its beauty. For we can rely upon it with confidence and constancy to add convenience, safety, and efficiency to our lives. And we can rely upon it to constantly improve the quality of our lives as we build upon past knowledge and experience. How well does a bridge structure support weight? How well does a highway stand up to everyday use? How well does a building withstand an earthquake? Every success and every failure enables and inspires improvements in the future. It is the same with the architecture of information. Standards will enable us to create order and efficiency and to avoid chaos. Information architecture has long been reshaping commerce, finance, medicine, and personal communication. What about government? The challenge arises from the standards set in the private sector and from the needs of those we serve as the role of information technology continues to evolve in the individual lives of citizens, from access to understanding to reliance to expectation. Traditionally, the buildings and monuments of government have reflected the strength and resources of government as well as public sentiment and confidence toward their government. In the age of digital government, it is the architecture of information that will fulfill this role. Imagine a police officer's life saved because warrant information is available in the patrol car in 10 seconds rather than waiting three minutes for the same information. Imagine being able to file your taxes renew your license plate, or get a fishing license from your home PC, your wireless PDA. Imagine a child kept safe because of instant access to justice information that prevents the placement of an unfit adult within a child care setting. Seamless, comprehensive, responsive, essential. The future of government 
is in the hands of those who can and will envision, plan, draft, build, and redraft. The drawing boards await us. For more information on architecture, contact NASIO at www.nasio.org or contact NASIO by telephone at 859-231-1971.